Hi everyone, this is Sanket. So this is the third video in our tutorial series of setting up the AR Foundation using Unity. So in this video, I will be describing how to toggle the plane detection or the planes which are coming after scanning the surface. So as you scan the surface, the plane comes right. So we want to toggle that plane using a button, toggle button or something. So let's set up. Let's create a canvas. Let's create one button inside it. Here I have some sprites you can download it from internet. Let's make it at the corner. We don't need the text. Let's delete it. And let's set up this size and everything. This is fine, I think. Yeah, so this is the button. This is our toggle button. So here the sprite is our so, and this is one more sprite which is height. So I will toggle between these sprites. So if it is so, then the plane will so, and if I click on this, this will become height, and the, all the planes which are coming in our, after detecting the surface will become uh, it will become not visible. So let's write that script. So this is our place on plane script. So let's open this in Visual Studio. So yeah, here let's create a function. Toggle plane detection. So we have to get all those planes which are coming after it after scanning the surface and we have to deactivate that plane so let's do that so before that we need to get the reference to that script so the script which is oh no, yeah so the script is ar plane manager here it is so this is responsible for uh, like after scanning the surface the planes will come red so this is the script which is doing this so we have to get the reference to this script and these planes these planes and we have to deactivate that so let's do that let's make a, a reference to that script first the script name is AR plane manager Both the script are assigned to the same object, so we can get the reference here by get by doing the get component. Now we have to deactivate all those trackable pens which are planes which are already there so we have to get that and we have to deactivate that so let's do that by using a for each loop all those friends trackable means which are mm, tracking right now so we have to get all those planes and deactivate those now. So 
One more thing is you have to stop the plan data. I mean, deactivate this plan manager. Otherwise, it will again and again um, will be coming after you stop this. So let's do that. Sure. Toggling the plane detection if it is active then deactivate it if it is deactivate then activate it this is what we are doing so let's so why I am doing this is this plane manager data enable why I am putting it here is so here it is already toggling the plane planes if it is active it, then it will make it deactivate if it is deactivate then it will activate it so if we put that here it will do the same thing we don't have to write some other codes or something again the boolean or something so that's why I am putting this here so yeah this is it now you can now yeah one more thing is that sprite thing right so here it is the first it will actually so and height let's name it so when it detects the plane we have to uh, we need to hide this right so let's make it this button the sprite i changed yeah i think this yeah So you have to write a script so that this this thing will also toggle so when i click on this this uh what do you call the sprite should change right so let's do that also so we need the reference of sprite okay for that i need the ish. okay let's make array of sprites you can name it anything i just name it sprite which is not good actually you should name it something properly so that you can understand later So we have to check it here if it is enabled. If the plane is enabled, then you have to hide it. So we need the hide sprite here. the first sprite that we need to assign in the inspector is hide and the second sprite is so we need to do this after the toggle Okay, the first one should be hide, the second one should be so. Let's assign those things here. Count is 2. First one should be hide, second one should be so. The image, image should be this. okay this is it so now you can toggle the plane detection 
i'll take a video of the application and then you can check how it is working yeah this is it so the next video i'll be making in this series is to select two th so there will be two three objects to augment in the real world and you have to select one object from them and then you can place it in the real world this is what i am going to do in the next video so yeah thank you for watching the video and subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed i'll be uploading a very good content in the near future so yeah go ahead and subscribe thank you